So what's your name? Cheryl Schroeder. I'm with the Central Labor Council. And so what brings you out here to Bayshore Boulevard? This particular site is important to us because the Platte Street Bridge is under construction. It's partially funded by federal dollars, and those federal dollars are bringing good competitive wages into Tampa. Oh, so um, uh, what's your message as far as uh, the bridge is concerned with unions? Pass the Ameri it's not so much a union issue as it is a good jobs issue, but we want to pass the American Jobs Act because federal money does bring in good jobs. I want to look at this. Hold on. Oh, it's just a, a hospital helicopter, okay, it looks like. Minor, sorry. Oh, yeah, pretty close by with the hospital. But uh, So you're hoping that some of these jobs for the Platte Bridge are union jobs? That some of the jobs for the Platte Bridge are union jobs. But again, the issue is more that they provide a competitive wage because it's governed by Davis-Bacon, which makes the scale, the, the salary scale, higher than if it was just a job without Davis-Bacon. So unions skilled trap can actually compete for these jobs. Okay, so uh, would you like to see local labor represented more? or Certainly. I mean, basically though, it's, it's an issue of unemployment. We need to bring jobs back into our economy, into our communities. And the only way that we're going to do that is with the passage of an act such as the American Jobs Act, which provides incentives to small businesses, cuts payroll taxes for small businesses and persons like you and me. It also has incentives for hiring returning veterans. It's got money slated for revamping and refurbishing some of our failing schools, bringing green technology to those schools, also things like wireless internet. Believe it or not, some schools don't have wireless internet for students to learn from the computer. Um, and just a lot of hosts of different things. The infrastructure issue, of course, is huge with um, here in Tampa Bay Area. There's a lot of opportunity for those types of jobs. And so, uh, the, basically, the, you're, you're saying the Platte Street Bridge is largely a positive thing. You just want to make sure the wages are fair? And... Yes. Yes. I think it's a wonderful thing that the federal, the federal dollars that come into this area are being used to basically increase our economic power instead of not. Would you like to see more projects like this around the area? Have you guys, do you guys, are there any uh, areas for improvement that... Uh... Certainly, there's a, there's a website that actually has a list of all kinds of failing infrastructure, bridges, roads, transit systems that we have in the state of Florida, and consequently this act would help to bring the needed dollars from the federal government to do that, that refurbishing. Okay, and what's your position with labor again? I'm with the Executive Director for the West Central Florida Federation of Labor. Alright, thank you Cheryl Schroeder. Thank you.